Hey everyone, before we get started, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for your support. The channel just hit 100 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. I really appreciate it and I enjoy the feedback I get from you all. For this video, I thought I would do something a little different. There have been a few comments asking about how I made the air pump in the Brian Shrimp Ecosphere. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process on how I made it. Here are a few close-ups of the solar-powered air pump I made for the Brine Shrimp Ecosphere. When the light is red, it means the battery is charging. Before I get started, I want to make a quick disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a professional, which will probably appear obvious to you. Do not attempt this without proper training and try at your own risk. Now on to the video. Here's a list of the materials I used. I have a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery, a 5 volt mini solar panel, a battery charging board, a 3 volt micro vacuum pump, and wiring. Other materials needed for the air pump are airline tubing and an air stone. Additional materials used to put it together are a soldering iron, solder, flux, hot glue, and electrical tape. The first few video clips are from the power module I made for the closed terrarium. The process is the same for an air pump module as well. It takes a 5 volt power source and the output is around 3.7 volts. The first thing I did was add the battery to the charging board. I would probably do this last next time because the board is partially live now. I connected the battery to the board with a soldering iron and I add flux to the contact points to make the solder application easier. Also don't use the solder stick to apply the flux, I don't know why I was doing that. Next, I am adding the output wires.
Now I am connecting the wires to the solar panel. This connects to the input connections on the board. So that is how I made the power supply part. As you can see, the output should be around 3.7 volts. For ease of explanation, I made a mock-up of everything put together. The solar panel connects to the board input. The board I am using also allows for charging with a micro USB cable. I haven't needed to use this though other than when I initially charged the battery. I added a switch on one of the output wires so that the pump isn't always on. Here is a close up of the pump. The middle hole is the output so I'm going to connect the airline tubing there. I find that placing hot glue around the opening first gives a better seal. Now all that is left is to connect the power wires. For this demonstration, I just attached them, but they should be soldered in place. As a side note, the little pump I am using does get hot after running for a few minutes. When I use it, I only have it on for about 10 to 30 seconds just to get the water moving. I included a sound clip of the pump just to show how loud it can be. Now as I mentioned before, this kind of setup can be used for other applications that require around 3.7 volts of power. I made this LED lighting cluster for another project that works with this type of power supply as well. You'll have to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned if you want to see what I'm going to use this for. I hope you liked the video. 
it was something a little different than just ecospheres and terrariums? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, as it really helps me out. Thank you.